Another shaman. Um, I'm gonna full mulligan. I think he might life Rizel. Life Rizel is really powerful. All right, Glotron and Christology. Happy Feast of Wintervale. Converting stored energy. Converting stored energy. I'm gonna hero power, especially given that I do the Sky Claw. Sky Claw actually makes me want to just play Sky Claw. I want to like, because uh, if I Christology here, I, um, the only thing I could play that I would actually I could hit that I could actually play is the other Glowtron. I actually want to attack, like just trade that to protect this. Well, if he can just like kill this with a, a rush or whatever. We do have the Light Forge, and we have this is like you know a little bit more action. We also have a Zealot or a Herald rather, which is enabling our Sand Breath, which is quite powerful. Okay. Well. Ooh. I'm a little concerned that this is like setting up for a lightning storm, so I kind of want to do this actually. Is like fairly lightning storm proof. Coin. Shield. Oh. That's not scary at all. Okay. So I can play another Sky Claw, which buffs everything. I can also just play Light Forge Trade. If I play the Sky Claw, I can like I hit four. And eh, no, the Sky Claw's gotta be the best thing. And I can even just like trade like this. My divine shield. Push six. Like my opponent coined out Shield Galakron into this. Even the Paladin side quest we get in this deck. So I had Sanctuary in the first version of this deck that I built, and it was insane or awful. It was like just super high variance. I'm playing as control, it's super good. And against aggressive decks, it was like a dead card. So I decided I'd, I'd just rather have a little bit of a, you know, uh, like a weaker card against control that, that like does something against aggressive decks. Okay, oh another shield of card. That's not even close to good enough. Well. Look at these sky claws go. I'm one off lethal. I'm just playing this because it's more resilient to removal. Okay. That's not. Oh, this is gonna be. His, oh, I was gonna say if this was in Timo an invocation of frost, that could actually be really good. Still not close to good enough. Crunch. I mean, climb with pure Paladin. Huzzah. Alright. Um. Hmm. Not really exciting. Paladin seems okay. Glass Knight for Zilliax. You can't play Zilliax in the pure deck. It's a neutral card. Can't play neutral cards. This deck does not want to play against Albatross Priest, I'll tell you that much. Mm, no dragon. No tonic burst. Have they fixed the Albatross deck? Yeah, what do you mean? Fixed it in what way? The pure deck in wild must be sick. Eh, I mean, the, the effects that you get aren't that powerful compared to the effects that you can just generally get in wild, though, is the thing. Micro Mama, you were supposed to be. I might draw last turn. That would have been sick. <sighs> What's a good class against Hunter? Um, I had a ton of success playing both Warrior, like Armorsmith, Scion Warrior, and uh, Quest Priest against the, the Hunters. Okay, let's draw Dragon. 
Dragon. Thank you. Uh, Xanatos, thanks for the sub. Steel guys, you have in your hand. I <laughs> would actually just be dead if I had the, the micro mummy on too. By the way, please no life steal guy. That doesn't life steal. Okay, still don't life steal yet. Okay, now you can't play Lifesteal. Oh, don't have Taunt. Titanic Lackey. Alright, alright, alright. Boom! Death Rattle Rogue down. Get pure Paladin. From the Shiro Cam. Shiro, where are you going? The outside, Shiro. Oh, okay. Goodbye, Shiro Cam. If the Hunter won't be Glowtron. Happy Feast of Wintervale. Converting stored energy. Happy Feast of Wintervale. Happy Feast of Wintervale. Hmm. Oh, hello, Cathedral Gargoyle. Ah, uh, yes. Doing what we need. Being amazing. Going off. Wood Explorer comes prepared. Why not just use neutral cards than the epic that changes neutral to class cards? Well, then I'm just like putting cards into my deck that I have to draw in order to just like use the deck that wouldn't need to use the you know, draw those cards. Ooh. Get him. Blessing of Kings on a Bronze Explorer against Hunter, huh? Okay. I wonder what his his secret is. What could it be, chat? What could it be? It's misdirection. It's not even... Okay. Cool. He was actually being very tricky there. Alright, we'll do this this way. Yeah, if I hit my own face, it would have been great. Boom. Uh, I kick ass. Thanks for the sub. Welcome. All right. Well, let's see. Explosive. Yep. <laughs> Going off. <laughs> Endless explorers. Sir Death Trap with the seven months. I finally remembered how to pronounce your name. Welcome back. Alright, well. Boom roasted. Let's get him! What was the actual. Oh, BMK roast one, yeah. I thought it was roast then roast two. There we go. Look at this. Oof. He's really, he's really going off on these guys. 
He's gonna be really sad that a good explorer comes prepared with friends. Oh, I ran out. Unlucky. Let's get him! <laughs> How many explorers does it take for the concede? The answer apparently is four. <laughs> 